Hi, Sharon again from Raw Food Heaven, and thanks again for purchasing the spiralizer. Now, today I'm just going to um, show you how to use it and how to prepare the vegetables that you're going to use as well. So, firstly, take it out of its box. Now, you'll notice that there's some protective um, coating on here. You can simply peel that off. That's there just to protect the steel underneath. So, we're simply going to peel that off. And you'll notice that there's the cap as well. So, that's to help you when you're turning the vegetables. So that's the spiralizer. Now the vegetables that I enjoy using the most is the zucchini and the carrot. So what, what I'm going to show you today is how to use the zucchini. So I'm simply going to actually wash it first. Now I prefer to use organic vegetables, so I simply just rinse it in filtered water. Now if you're not able to use organic veggies, sometimes you can use a tiny bit of detergent just to get rid of any excess chemicals that are on the um, vegetable. But as I said, I like to get them fresh from the organic markets. So I'm just simply going to trim the ends off. Now I also use the ends in soups, so I keep them to the side and I put them in a Ziploc bag um, and I keep them in the freezer so when I'm ready to do a soup I've got the ingredients ready to go. So we're simply going to take the spiralizer and grasp it by the side, the steel bits on the side, and place the zucchini in. Now put a bit of pressure on there so it's just going to be like turning a pencil in a sharpener. So you want a bit of downward pressure as well at the same time as turning the vegetable. Okay. So then you simply just turn and out from the spiral. If you want to use the different size blades, you can turn it around. And you get more of the individual style noodles and they're simply just going to fall on the plate and see how easy it is to use. So as I said, as it gets further down you can place the cap on just to really get the most out of your vegetable and turn. Or if you like you can just take it out from there and place that to the side. I'll just trim the edge off and that can go in your soup bag as well for later on. So what you're left with is just the vegetables and don't they look like fun? The kids are going to love them. So after you've spiralized your vegetables, carrot is exactly the same process for the carrot or the um, yellow squash. So then you just take it to the, the sink, simply rinse it off and you can place it in the dishwasher as well. So, very simple and easy to use. Thanks for watching.